Hi there, welcome to the Kurt Only Band uh, 2017, a 30th anniversary Christmas TV special. And if you just want to look outside, you can see we've had some snow. Look, it's been snowing. Look at all that, isn't that beautiful? Yeah. And um, we're going to uh, have some fantastic memories of the. Of the the 30 years, 30 years ago that we started uh, this journey. I want to welcome you to the, the TV show and uh, we're going to go through old memories uh, from the past 30 years. It's been a joy to get this far, really. Uh, Who would have thought 30 years ago I'd be celebrating a 30th anniversary and doing a 30th anniversary Christmas TV special. Uh, the boys will be along later on uh, to talk about memories and everything as well and uh, to get some through memories and to talk about old songs, new songs, things we're going to plan for the future. So I'm just going to get myself set up and I'll talk to you a bit more and I shall see you soon. Welcome aboard to a 30th anniversary Christmas TV special. See you in a bit. Hi there again. Uh, welcome to a 30th anniversary Christmas TV special. Uh, it's a joy to have you here. Uh, Martin and Andy, like I said, will be along later on and uh, they'll give you the best wishes and Christmas wishes. Uh, this TV special, we're going to look back at the 30 years, have memories, chat about memories, and uh, just thoroughly enjoy the Christmas time, the Christmas special of 2017. Uh, Snowing outside and I want to welcome you to the warmth of the memories and uh, I just hope you'll enjoy this little bit of a TV show. I'd just like to thank you for the latest number one uh, from the latest single Christmas Night. It got to number one in country, the SoundClick Country Rock uh, Top 200 chart and it became an 83rd number one single of a career so far. And we thoroughly thank you from, from my heart anyway and the, the guys will say something to you I'm sure later on what's there uh, how they feel uh, who would have thought 30 years ago in 1987 in January 1987 when I decided to put my own little Kurt Donnie band together with uh, I met two great friends Andy Purcell and uh, Darren DJ Lester way back in 1987 that myself Andy and of course Marty it, it became uh, the third member of the family in 1994 and uh, who'd have thought that three of us would still be making original songs uh, in 2017 but it's a joy to know that you're still out there for us uh, I want to thank all the DJ friends over the years that have played the material I want to thank the musician friends that we have met and most of all I want to thank you, the fans, for what you have done to get us to this fantastic achievement of 30 years. Um, over the years we've re recorded various Christmas TV shows and we might see about dropping some memories in from the previous ones for all the new fans out there. Uh, so I just want to say thank you again and uh, from, from this little part of an introduction hopefully um, we will have the boys later on and they'll have their own little bit of a segment and maybe we'll do some songs for you, some old, maybe some new. So thank you again, welcome to a 30th uh, anniversary Christmas TV show 2017 and we'll see you soon. Okay, Merry Christmas now.
Hello everyone. As you can see, the oh, boys yeah. are here again. And Marty's oh, hey. Hello. He's uh, already started on his own. <laughs> Welcome to the the, the Kurd Only Band uh, Christmas TV special 2017. I got that one right, didn't I? Yeah. Just <laughs> And uh, it's a 30th anniversary, coming to the end of a 30th anniversary year, which has been absolutely fantastic. It's been brilliant, hasn't it, boys? It has been brilliant. Uh, like I said, I've told the guys that we did a little bit of introduction earlier on. That should be on here somewhere. You, you know? couldn't wait for us, could he? And, uh, what's the snow, wasn't it, remember? No, I right. couldn't, couldn't help yeah, because of the snow. No, snow, snow. I love the deeper it goes. There's an exclusive again. Yeah. Right, so um, I just want to turn around and say, it's been brilliant. Thanks for the last 30 years together. Yes, thanks for your friendship. Who'd have thought yeah. that, mate? When they spoke to me there in the pits and you know, band. I know. We'd still be giving 30 years later. In other words, to the Americans, going means going. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> Boston. Yeah, you know, Boston. Um, but yeah, it's been brilliant. You know what I mean? It's been a fantastic year. We've achieved everything that I wanted to do. And we've just released a 30th album. 30 albums in 30 years. Now that That's takes something to do with. Hey? Christmas album and the feedback for that has been absolutely outstanding. It's been brilliant. It's been what? Yeah. <laughs> Take two on that one. No. So uh, it's it's that tea. You know what I mean? So the apple juice. The apple juice. And anyway, back to the script. I don't know where I am now. Uh, yeah. So the lights up and The thirtieth uh, album has been fantastic. The feedback from the fans, reaction has been brilliant. DJs have loved it. So, for me personally, I just want to say thank you so much for another fantastic year that you've done for us. Do you want to just say quickly something to the Yes, I'll say thanks to all the fans, friends, and everybody who supported us over the years, and please keep doing so. Thank you very much. We love you. Bit of the same sort of theme. I mean, for 30 years, we've had our son, fantastic boys through Sick and Team. Um, <laughs> You know, it it's been amazing that uh, we've still got the fans supporting our new songs. They won't have to and this playing before, but... <laughs> and, and, play, and playing them and uh, voting for us and all that. So, yeah, thank you all for making 30 years absolutely fantastic. Memorable. Very memorable indeed. I want to just, for me personally, this is from that. To Bobcat, thank you, bro. Oh, we won't have achieved half of this. Band. Without you, that's Mr. Lee Beddow from Abbey Sound Recording Studio. He's made him sound good for 30 yeah, years. In Rugeley. So, Bobcat, cheers, bro. Cheers, bro. Looking forward to recording with you again in the 31st year next year. And we've got a lot to do. So, I just want to turn around and look at my script and say to the guys, uh, give me some of your favourite band memories. Marty, you can start. Band memories? Uh, oh, like back in 95, we played Americana. Mm, yeah, that's Jonathan great. Park. Yeah. That was a, that was one of your first what your first gig, wasn't it? Yes. That was his very first gig. He had long hair. He's a right rocker, ladies and gentlemen, weren't you, mate? You know, gouty beard. Got the gouty. If you ever see a film, Bram Stoker's Dracula. That's our Marty. We used to call him Dracula. Didn't we remember we that? We did, yes. But do you want to carry on about the, the Americana? Said nineteen ninety five was a brilliant. Yeah, somebody ate all the sausages. Who? Uh, yes, yeah, somebody we had was it two pounds worth of sausages, something like that. And we got back to the tent, ladies and gentlemen, folk. And we thought we were robbed. We thought we were robbed, and somebody had been asleep in the tent and he'd eaten all the sausages. This young gentleman here. I'll probably have a belly eyes, I thought we were asleep. <laughs> and I want to just thank Chris and Bev um, because the they're not very well at the moment, but we want to thank you and we'll send you a love and hopefully things pick up for you in 2018. Andy, what's your. One of your favourite band memories? Well, one of my favourite memories was playing a local gig down here and we was doing a rocker, we were really going for it. And then all of a sudden, my snare collapsed and dropped on the floor. So I was basically air drummy and got nothing to eat. And everybody was in hysterics and I think that the band carried on luckily while I got my snare and put it back on. Fix it back on the stand and then jump back in. Yeah. But I mean, that was embarrassing. I wish it could have, the floor could have opened up. But at the same time, it was hilarious. Yeah. You know, I mean, one of those things could never happen. You know, you'd never think it'd ever happen. And it's a drummer's worst nightmare when that did though. But yeah, it was good. It was good fun. Uh, I managed to get jump back in and hope nobody they noticed. But at the end of the day, you just couldn't miss could, it. Couldn't help it. My favourite memories. I, I must say, is, would you call it um, the very first performance with Marty uh, was Andy at Americana, 
and it started a friendship and a bondship, a, a bondship, a friendship, a family ties together that's leaded all the way through from from then till now, and you can't go turn around and say what's been my favourite memory because we all we, so many, yeah. so many. But if I say that it was that first time that I was on stage with Mark, and it, it built a fantastic friendship oh, for the for the three I've of us. Got, well, I've got another a good memory that uh, is dear to my heart. Is we went up Salby to record two tracks, and uh, it was a big, posh, massive mansion about two, four, three flo flo floors high, massive. Flo Got to own pool table, so I was doing some uh, vocals. Me and one of the band members went to have a game of pool, and I'd got the best cue. And the, the other band member wanted to use it, and I wouldn't let him, so we started fighting over the pool cue, doing this going backwards and forwards. So he loosed, he loosed it, and then as I pulled back, it went straight through one of the windows. <laughs> so we, we said, oops! So he shut the curtains, hoping nobody yeah. would at that notice. Point, at that point, I was signing contracts, ladies and gentlemen. I knew nothing about it, to be honest with you. We, so We pulled the curtains too, and hope nobody would notice. Yeah, so for was... contractual reasons, that's why I had to stop the thing halfway through. I had to look at the legal documents to make sure that we're not going to get in trouble. But the years have flown by since then. I think that record company's gone, yeah, gone down. Yes. That's why I had to edit it, ladies and gentlemen, because I had to get the contracts out to make sure we ain't going to get sued. Legal reasons. Legal reasons. And said, so, oh, he was the one who broke the window then. <laughs> but uh, we've had some great memories over the years, and uh, I just want to turn around and say that to you two boys, you've been my family, you've been brothers that I've never had, and uh, if we, we get another year together, we get another two years together, I'll be a happy, happy man. But the future for us is so bright, because next year we've got a couple of albums we're going to be working on. Yeah. Yeah. And then... Uh, a couple of festivals in the pipeline. A couple of festivals in the pipeline that's going to be happening. Uh, I'm just going to say, so your favourite gig was... Is it Dunton your favourite gig, bro? 95, yeah. Which yours, bro? Oh, favourite. I mean, 95 was a good one. Yeah. Oh, I'll tell you, you favourite. You had different uh, memories for different... Yeah, yeah. different yeah. reasons. Um, then again, I think it was at Americana. Uh, no, it wasn't. It was um, the one we did at um, Stratford on the big airfield. Oh yeah, it was the country, the, the raceway one, wasn't it? Yeah. The airfield. Yeah, no, the airfield. No, that, that was uh, Mick, uh, Jim Duncan organised that for yeah. us. That one. Yeah. It was a, it was a cracking gig, like, um, and we went, we went to the bar there, and it was like some of the old west. There's so 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 on the floor board, uh, you know, on the floor boards, and then he's like walking into an old western style pub, which is great. And the audience was amazing there, you know, it was about 2,000 people sitting watching us, you know, which is really good. And uh, yeah, that sticks in my mind quite a lot. That one in Stratford, it was uh, a classic gig for us. My favourites, if you, if, my favourite gig, me personally, if I really look back, was this is before um, Marty joined us, was my early ones when I used to do the gigs in front of my, my dad because he used to be he used to be in the audience when <laughs> dad did. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> and he used to be, because we used to play the working men's clubs then, yeah. didn't we, before Marty joined. And my dad, I can also remember seeing the, my dad there and pride in his eyes, I think, but he's got cheapskate, he wouldn't pay any money, what do you think no. about it? When, we used to play for his clubs and we used to play a lot of the working men's clubs and he was the secretary. And uh, I think we did a, a gig for, what's it, 30 quid that one time? Yeah, 30 know? quid. And he said, he gives more nice. He says, no, you're yeah, paying 30 quid. Or that was it. And all. then the following time we had, uh, we did a rock and roll night and it took about £2,000 behind the bar. And I think he paid his 80 quid that night. Did yeah, you know? <laughs> we had, we had, so we had, we had a bit of a bonus. Well, a bit of a bonus, but that's that's the memory because with my dad being there, that uh, he never seen us did it after that. No. And, uh, and what Curl didn't mention on this one, we was doing this one where his dad was watching, and uh, he, I think he had a cup of the uh, clear water that you get with. Uh, Who me? With, that's with, that's lawyer. You want to get your lawyer? Big, begins with uh, V. Bimto, mate. What do you think yeah, clear water Bimto. <laughs> uh, and he decided to go from one side of the stage and do a power slide across the stage. And he did. I went straight across the stage, straight through, across the stage, <laughs> to the dressing room, across the other side, and fell down the steps. And all he was, oh, boom, ah! 
And then he comes back home with a guitar carrier playing. That was, that was a classic. That, that wasn't was. the bad boy days, because we're not like that no more, are we? It's straight across the stage. No. Straight <laughs> the, <laughs> you might have to think about that. Here, straight across the stage, straight to the dressing room, the next door on the other side. Brilliant. Um, but yeah, there's been some fantastic memories over the years, 30 years. You, we can't just cram everything in, can we, in this little no. bit? Because we'll, we'll go away and think, oh, why didn't I say this? Why didn't I say that? In the minibus, having a chicotte. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's another story. It's like 